So I did two interviews with Keefe D. And in both interviews, Keefe D claims that he knew your wife and he had your wife before you. The last interview we did, man, um, you made a comment about Reggie Wright Jr. wife. And you said that um, you had her before Reggie Wright Jr. and you was with her before him. And um, if you don't mind, can you go more into detail about that? Because Reggie Wright Jr. and his wife both denied that you was with her before him. And I think she denied that she was with her at all. Well, she lying. She been uh, she went to two fights with me. She went to uh, what was that? Mike Tyson and uh, one of them white dudes. She went she went to and she went to a Tommy Hearns fight with me. You know what I'm saying? Why would I lie about that? I don't lie about you know a piece of pussy or nothing like that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Her name is uh Boo. Her, her nickname is Boo. She's from in the from my side of town. And uh, I, me and her been to two fights, all that shit. Cynthia, her best friend, she went with us and everything. I'll tell you what, hotel we stayed in and everything. Brought her a nice dress and all that shit at the fight. You went to the fight. And what's this before Reggie Wright even knew her. She would, back then, she wouldn't even throw dope darts at Reggie Wright. You know what I'm saying? Man, Reggie Wright was police. You ain't, ain't making enough money to go with Boo. You didn't get no, you know, top of line bras to you, to still get you the company, dude. Bros didn't go with polices, man. Come on, man. You ain't make enough money, dude. Come on. Yeah. Teresa Guillory. Her real name, Teresa Guillory. I knew her way before Reggie, all that. Her best friend, Cynthia, and all that. Come on. They went to two fights from me. My homies was there, too. So, yeah. So, you was messing around with her. I mean, you went to two fights with her, but that don't mean y'all was, you know, messing around, right? You mean, you, know, you think I'm just taking a ball without being my girl, take a girl to the fight for free? Come on, man. Okay. Yeah. I know where all her pimples at on her body, so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. She know me. You know, everybody know. You know, everybody on our side of town know. So knock it off, man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to lie for, for that ball. Ball. You know, they seem like they... They seem like they're professional liars or something. Him and his dad, both of them. Now all of a sudden, I don't know him. I don't know Boo. God damn, homie. Fuck. Now they professional liars now. Damn. How you feel about him saying that? How do I feel about him saying that? Well, I have a problem with it because they motherfucker lying. He's straight making up stuff. I know why he said that. And he said that because... I started it, to be honest. Um, when I put out to the world, or to put out to the YouTube community, that his wife and his sister-in-law were messing with Buntry and Shug. And how even uh, his daughter was wearing around the death row chain. That's the one he always calling cheap. And, and, and you know, $100, 200 because that was the death row chains that we gave to the mothers or the females that attended the Mother's Day banquet. And they probably had some around, and I'm sure Suge and, and our Buntry slid a couple to his wife, uh, and um, she probably let his daughter wear one. And so that's why he said it, but Suge and Buntry was bending both of them over, and he knows that. And so now he playing tit for tat, and so that's why he making that but man, matter of fact, hey, Teresa, come here. Baby, you gotta hear what this, this crackhead, because the niggas are crackhead, was saying about you. Come here, baby, I know you know, but well, I need you to uh, come and address this. All right, I guess according to this fool, you used to mess with a crackhead, huh? <laughs> but anyway, this is my wife, you two family, Teresa Guillory Wright, and um, AK Boo, who, uh, <laughs> I guess our boy Keefe is saying he had relationships before me. But that's the art of war. Tupac taught us that. So I don't get too mad about it because I understand that's the allegations and the stuff that um, people say when you're trying to get back at somebody. So Keefe, you know I always had my gloves off on you and tiptoed around saying stuff about your crackhead ass. Can't go back to Compton ass nigga. You better stay your ass out there in Vegas and where you hiding from. All your homeboys, because 
you always talking that bullshit about Mob James and this nigga and that. Nigga, you can't go back to your hood. Your sister and them don't even fuck with you no more. She had a stroke when you snitched on Orlando. You know the real Keefe. So now, nigga gloves off. Okay, baby, that's a little too much for stuff that we know that's not true. So, <laughs> to me, it's funny, it's a joke. I know of Keefe D. My family and his family grew up in the same, well, not in the same neighborhood, cross neighborhoods. Um, I would never date nobody like that. That's not even my cup of tea. So, and I know why he's saying that, because Reggie, you know, I'm not a social media gangster. I'm a professional career woman. And I know Reggie said something about his wife and his sister-in-law, Buntree dating his wife, not the sister-in-law. Suge messing with the sister-in-law. So now he want to come at me, but I'm not that type of person. And Keefe D, you know for a fact, you never had no relationship with me, not at all. For Keefe D to say that he had you know, a relationship with me because of something he said, that's not fair to me. And I know for a fact, I never dated Keefe D. I looked at your video. I never ever went to a fight with him. When did this all transpire? I've been with my husband since I was 25, 26. That's 2000, what, five, 2000, nine, yeah, 2005, no, 1995, 96. Shoot, Keith D. D. have me at least by 10 years. So when did this all happen? When did this all transpire? Just making up things, fabricating, that's not fair to me and my character as a person. I can say when I was a young girl, I do remember him coming over to In Hood side and he got into some little confrontation and he did pull out a gun. But at that time I was in see, junior high school and then my uncle, Looky Lou, put out a bigger gun. And you know, I was like, what's going on with that? And that's when they said who he was. but. Growing up, I didn't really know Keefe D. I knew the family. I never even really had any any encounter with him at all. So that shows that nigga be lying. Because he said, if you pull a gun out on me, I'm dumping. Oh, no. Looky Lou pulled a big old gun out on him. And they just, police pulled up and they just, you know, separated. Everybody just jumped in their car and left. But I actually lived down the street from where this transpired. But it was in our neighborhood, in hood. Not my neighborhood. I'm not a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Her brother is though. So it caught you off guard when he made them claims. Oh, most definitely. Even when my husband told me, I'm like, huh, are you sure? And then when I listened to the tape, he didn't really address the entire um, recording. So when I listened, I said, well, he's saying something about taking me to ABC. And then I asked my husband, what is ABC? He said, the jail, the prison. I said, well, what, what, did I represent him or something? NBC. <laughs> NBC. Mm -hmm. I, did I represent him? Because I am in the legal field, but I've never even been in prison or no... I don't know where this is coming from. Well, I know where it's coming from. It's coming from the beef that started with him. But like I said, I'm not into this social media. I'm gonna address this the one time and only. I'm not that type of person. I've never dated Keefe D. I'm a professional career woman. You're not even my type of guy. And you know that for a fact. Just be honest, stop fabricating. Beef with Reggie, don't bring me into it. But it's all good. The art of war, but okay, Keefe, I got you, brother. I got you.